On a lighter note, three ninjas from the University of Alabama could have become a national sensation. WVUA 23's Taylor Newman has more on why their dreams were cut short. Amy Rawlinson, Joseph Seal, and Casey Sukachi are three students that were going to represent the University of Alabama on Team Ninja Warrior College Madness Edition. Their years of experience with sports, physical attributes, and powerful strength is what got them so far, but it isn't as easy as it seems. It really gives you a reality check on how athletic you are. Because you look at something and you think, wow, anybody could do that. Like, my mom could do that. And then you try to attempt it yourself, and it's like, you just don't know what all goes into it. Like, it's, all, it's mental, it's timing, it's, you know, confidence, and it's just like obstacle after obstacle after obstacle that take all of that. So it actually is very taxing on you mentally and physically. So and I just didn't really expect all that going into it. Like, I remember walking into Ninja Quest thinking, like, oh, it's an adult playground. But no, it's like a lot more than that. As a team, they train for weeks, running courses, and staying in their best physical shape in preparation for Los Angeles. We had, we had worked so hard as a group, um, just every day. Uh, just like every week we were just always working on different stuff and Casey was teaching us everything he knew um, since he had the experience of being on the uh, main show we knew that we had to gem and he was teaching us everything. When they arrived in LA they were on the verge of being national sensations until there was a misunderstanding in the contract so they were no longer able to compete. And so it was really disappointing when they told us that like all that hard work was really just going to, uh, seemed like it was going to nothing. Um, I was just very disappointed because I had been training for months and was like finally going to be able to, you know, have fun like with my athletic ability and just had absolutely zero chance. I mean, all of it just ended right there. Although they couldn't compete, they still had an amazing experience and hope to try out again next year and show America what a real ninja does. In Tuscaloosa, Taylor Newman, WVUA 23 News.